Hello from Florida. This will have to be quick. You're in battery saver mode. Some features may be limited. So hopefully I can get through a quick video before it decides to die on me. Glaze test results, primarily alabaster, birch, gunmetal green, and green tea. Birch, alabaster, green, uh, birch, alabaster, I believe, or mako, gunmetal green, and green tea. Yeah, I forget what green tea is. But anyway, the platter in the back, that gives you an idea of what happened when I did alabaster, green tea, gunmetal green, with a little swirl. I believe I um, used a syringe and put some agate by Laguna on there just to give it a little contrast. That was fun. These colors are beautiful. They worked very well on their own. I also took some of my power turquoise, put it on the rim of a couple of pots. And after I put the power turquoise on the rim, then I dipped it in this case birch. And the tester is in front of it. And in this case, I used hot chowder all over the whole pot after I put power turquoise on the rim. And it's beautiful, but it dripped all over the shelf and I'm busy chiseling it right now. Um, my cones look good. I set the scut kiln to um, five with a 20 minute um, hold. And uh, I use the slow mode and those cones are a five and a six. So I'm going to say I got a five and a half because my six is starting to go over a little bit. And something that I tried, it's called light magma. Light magma is that dull looking thing in the middle of those testers. And to the left is Emerald Falls. And to the right is what you get if you put light magma over Emerald Falls. It is so cool. So I'm going to use this for texture in the future. Really, really like what it does with something over it. Oops. <laughs> oh yeah, all this clay is Laguna Miller 40. It's something new to me. I just really started using it. This is Emerald Falls on the rim of the pot first. I put a little on the bottom too, just for fun. And then I put the entire pot in alabaster. It's nice, but I like it, the birch better. And I think my alabaster was too thick anyway. So I'll try this again. And I only have a little pint of Emerald Falls. So it was just an experiment. And then um, alabaster and um, birch together. I put a piece of tape on there so I'd remember what it was. It's interesting. I'm not quite sure how I did that, but I did. <laughs> anyway, it's nice. You know, just a, a beige on white. So very subtle. And uh, yay, my phone didn't die. That's about it. Did some more tests on black clay just to see how they would work out. I believe this is metallic green. No, green tea on black clay. This is something called aqua. Metallic green, I believe that's by Minnesota Clay Company. And then I did a couple of the main tests also on black clay. This was green tea. I'm sorry, this is, <laughs> oh, I'm getting so old and I'm getting, my brain's getting dead from this pandemic. <sighs> Gunmetal green on black clay. I'm a little worried about those little pits that are starting to form. Sometimes it's just the clay. And then this is birch on black clay. Just lovely. If you have something you want to make, 
and you're putting texture on it. I call it black clay. It's standard 266. In my studio, it's black clay. So, speaking of my studio, I did a little work to try to clean it up. When you first walk in from the door, I've got a bunch of books, radio, hand lotions, fire extinguisher, water heater, <laughs> but then the rest of the space is mine. Some shelves, a couple of wheels, took most of the cabinet doors off. This was all here when I got here. It was some kind of work shed. And before that, I think it was where they had the washer dryer. Nice workspace. My husband put some plywood on top there for me so that I wouldn't have fake wood to have to peel clay off of. My little collection of um, scales and stuff up there. Some more testers I should go through and show everybody. Colleen's work. Saving it for when she comes back. A um, couple of kilns. This one I got at a yard sale. It's very nice. It works just fine. But this was my little treat for myself. Hey, I'm 66 years old. I'm retired. I worked my whole life. I deserve a kiln. <laughs> when I fire the kiln... Um, the fans are blowing and the windows open and I have a big fan that I stick in that window to suck all the hot air out as well as take the um, open up the screen on the door. Um, I picked this up. We were uh, traveling a few years back, North Carolina, and uh, this pottery I popped into, she said, oh, I just got a new slab roller. So I said, well, what are you doing with the old one? She goes, I'm going to sell it. And I said, I think you have a buyer. And that was that. <laughs> so it served me well. And that's my studio. Okay, I guess I'm back, right? I guess I better throw some things so I can play around with some more glazes. Be safe, everybody. Being here in Florida, there's... Um, There's a lot of reason to find some good, some good things to do, like making pots and being happy whenever you can around here. When you're older, you're pretty much in quarantine. So be real safe out there. Wear those masks. Social distance, especially if you're 60 or older, because I actually know someone who died from COVID, young 70s. He was just a karaoke singer. Um like to play poker, like to be real social, and it got him. Uh, I haven't seen anybody in about 165 days, so we're COVID-free around here, but just be careful out there, especially if you're older. And thank you very much for watching.